Welcome to the Brain Podcast. In this episode, we will talk about $100 offers written by Alex Hormozzi. Success in any business, whether it's a small food stall or a big tech company, relies on how strong your offer is, what you present to customers to win their business. But how do you create an offer that's not just good, but irresistible? In $100 million offers, Entrepreneur and marketing guru Alex Hormozzi shares his methods for crafting offers that consistently bring in significant income. Hormozzi, with his experience in growing his own businesses and helping others reach their financial goals, offers tips to help you boost earnings by refining every part of your offer. Follow his advice, and Hormozzi claims you'll have customers eager to accept your offer, giving you the financial freedom every entrepreneur dreams of. We'll cover all parts of a successful offer, starting with the core, making a high-value product. Next, we'll discuss setting fair but challenging prices and finding your perfect target audience. Finally, we'll look at ways to make your offer more appealing by using scarcity, urgency, bonuses, guarantees, and catchy names. Throughout the guide, We'll add insights into some of the psychology behind sales tactics and share more tips from experts on the best ways to draw in customers and expand your business. The core of the offer, a high-value product. According to Hormozzi, your offer includes everything you're giving to the customer to win their business. A strong offer starts with a high-value product that justifies premium pricing. What makes a product high-value? Hermosi says a high-value product makes customers feel it will meet their deep needs with minimal effort. It also shortens the time needed to achieve these desires. If results take time, offer smaller, quick wins to keep them engaged, catering to people's dislike for waiting. Consider this example of a high-value product, an online course and mentorship program designed to help people start and grow an online business. The product speaks to deep desires like financial freedom, being your own boss, and creating wealth and legacy. Using a proven step-by-step -step system, it quickly moves a beginner from idea to successful business in six months. The program minimizes effort with detailed training videos, easy-to-use templates and tools, and mentorship from successful entrepreneurs. It also promises short-term successes like building an online presence and earning an initial income within weeks to boost motivation. Different Types of Value while Hormozzi suggests the main goal is high profit, others believe business models should focus on positive community impact too. A product might be high value because it's ethically sourced, making it more sustainable. Thus, a product's value can depend on broader goals. Social good and profit can coexist. Some say a successful business balances these aspects. Supporting social and environmental causes can attract loyal customers who prefer companies aligning with their values. So, besides the benefits to you and your customers, think about how your product can contribute to a community. Creating your high-value product. With these features in mind, let's explore Hormozzi's steps for creating your high-value product and later tweaking it to lighten your workload as success grows. Step 1. Identify a customer's deep desire. First, Hormozzi suggests identifying which desire you want to satisfy for your customers. Before designing a product, you must know its purpose. Consider choosing a product or service you're passionate about. Seth Godin, a marketing expert, notes in Purple Cow that high-quality products come from personal interest as creators make things they'd want to buy. For example, if you're a football fan, you might create sporting gear or merchandise you'd purchase yourself. Step 2. Identify potential roadblocks. List all obstacles that might stop customers from meeting their desires. For an entrepreneurship program, this could be the inability to travel or a busy schedule. Regularly revisiting this step is useful. Customer challenges may change, requiring you to update your offerings. For instance, a pandemic forcing in-person workshops online adds value by making them convenient and accessible. Step 3. Turn roadblocks into solutions. Write down a solution for each challenge. Then build these solutions into a product that uniquely addresses every roadblock. This greatly increases your product's value. For example, to tackle time constraints, the program might include audio recordings, allowing customers to listen on the go. Alternative approach. What task does your product accomplish? 
Clayton Christensen, a business consultant, suggests another approach. Ask what task people aim to complete with your product. Design with the customer experience in mind. In the example of an entrepreneurship program, people likely want to start a business amid a busy life. Therefore, instead of adding an audio option later, design the program from the start to be easy to access in short bursts. Step 4. Adjust for long-term ease. As you grow a loyal customer base, Hormozy advises modifying your product to ease your workload while maintaining value. By solving customer challenges, you'll create an irresistible product and establish high demand. However, sustaining such a product long-term might be tough due to required resources. Consider changes to ease your efforts. For example, create FAQ pages to relieve your help desk and speed up customer support. Some entrepreneurs believe Hormozy's advice should be more comprehensive. Tim Ferriss, in the 4-Hour Workweek, suggests automating your business to require minimal input from you. Automate in stages as your company expands, gradually outsourcing tasks like order fulfillment and customer service. Set the right price, high but fair. Setting the right price for your high-value product is crucial for success. Hermosi advises that prices should be on the higher side while still seeming reasonable to your customers. This delicate balance not only maximizes your profits, but also ensures customer satisfaction. In this section, we'll delve into the three pricing strategies that Hormozy recommends. These strategies include developing a unique product to avoid engaging in price wars with competitors, taking advantage of niche markets to command higher prices, and leveraging elevated prices to enhance product prestige and customer commitment. Create a unique product to avoid price wars. One fundamental strategy involves crafting a product that stands out so distinctly that direct comparisons with competitors become almost impossible. If your product is similar to others in the market, you risk entering into exhaustive price wars, which can ultimately stunt your business growth. Companies might repeatedly lower their prices in a bid to attract more customers, gradually eroding their profit margins until sustaining the business becomes unfeasible. By creating a product that is truly unique, you can avoid this relentless price-cutting spiral. An effective tactic when faced with direct competition is to instead enhance the perceived value of your product rather than lowering its price. For instance, consider bundling additional features or accessories with your product and increasing the price to reflect these added benefits rather than dropping the price to align with competitors. This strategy not only preserves healthy profit margins, but also underscores the superior value your product offers. Tip, go to extremes for distinction. When aiming to create something remarkable and unique, resist the temptation to settle for a product with broad appeal that might be categorized as merely good. Seth Godin, in his book, Purple Cow, points out that products labeled as good typically already exist in the market. Instead, Godin encourages thinking in extremes. Contemplate the unconventional paths your product can take. Whether it's an uncommonly spicy flavor, exceptional quality, distinctive price points, or striking design elements. For instance, a notably spicy candy bar might not compete with standard chocolates from well-established brands, allowing it to carve out a unique market niche. Crucially, once you identify a truly unique idea, commit to it wholeheartedly, avoiding compromises that dilute its uniqueness. Target niche markets. Another effective strategy Hormozy discusses revolves around targeting niche markets. Products that serve specialized needs often justify higher prices, as they appear customized and distinctive in a sea of generic alternatives. For example, rather than offering a widely available prenatal vitamin, you could develop a premium line of prenatal supplements customized to cater to specific needs based on factors like age, dietary restrictions, and dietary deficiencies. This focused approach allows your product to stand out and justifies a higher price. Leverage price for prestige and commitment. Elevated prices also play a significant role in enhancing your product's perceived prestige and can subsequently boost its appeal. Higher prices often signal superior quality to prospective customers, instilling a sense of exclusivity. Additionally, a higher price tag encourages customers to become more committed to engaging with the product, which is particularly important if customer participation influences the product's effectiveness. For instance, in scenarios where customers need to actively engage with your product, like a fitness app or a software program, 
a significant price can motivate them to use it more consistently. This consistency increases the likelihood of achieving desired outcomes, which they can attribute to your product, further cementing its value in their eyes. For example, a customer purchasing an expensive fitness app may be more driven to utilize the app consistently and reach their fitness goals, subsequently associating this success with the value provided by your product. Identify your ideal market. Crafting a successful offer involves not only having a sound pricing strategy, but also identifying the right market. A profitable offer begins with selecting the right audience where your ability to meet customer needs aligns with their ability to afford your product, set against a backdrop of growing demand. Find existing and growing demands. The process of identifying an ideal target market begins by searching for customers who already have a significant and existing need for your product. According to Hormozy, these customers are naturally more inclined to pay premium prices to fulfill their needs and desires. To find such customers, align your marketing efforts toward those who have shown similar interests in the past. This could include targeting individuals who subscribe to services related to your product or who are members of relevant trade organizations. Additionally, focusing on a market with expanding demand is key. An expanding market indicates a sustainable and increasing interest in your product, promising room for growth and development. Conversely, choosing a shrinking market, such as one focused on outdated technology like film cameras, makes achieving sales targets more challenging as the market trends towards digital solutions. Commit long-term. Hormozy emphasizes the significance of long-term commitment to understand your chosen market thoroughly. Instead of diverting your focus frequently, concentrate on deeply understanding one market to build a robust foundation of loyal, paying customers. This steady commitment allows you to master the intricacies of your target market, ultimately leading to sustained success over time. Devoting your energy to mastering a specific market is seen as a prudent approach, yet some experts argue for remaining flexible to seize new opportunities. As noted by Felix Dennis in How to Get Rich, excessive focus on a singular market could blind you to new opportunities. Successful companies like Nintendo, which began as a playing card company before becoming a giant in the video game industry, exemplify the benefits of staying open to diverse opportunities. Maximize the offer's appeal. After understanding the essential components of a successful offer, the next step involves maximizing its appeal to potential customers. Hormozy provides several psychological strategies to enhance your offer's attractiveness, making it difficult for customers to decline. These strategies encompass creating scarcity and urgency, incorporating bonuses to increase product value, offering guarantees to mitigate buyer risk, and selecting compelling product names. Psychological Strategy 1 Use scarcity to boost demand. The first psychological tool focuses on scarcity, limiting the availability and purchasing period for your product to increase its overall attractiveness. Hermosi highlights how scarcity taps into our innate tendency to value what is limited or exclusive, consequently elevating both demand and perceived value, leading consumers to be willing to pay a higher price. Various methods for creating scarcity include offering a limited number of products or bonuses, hosting a one-time-only sale, limiting the number of customers and implementing a waiting list, and transparently sharing how much stock is left on your website. Such transparency not only builds trust, but also provides social proof, indicating that others have already invested in your product. Additionally, informing customers when you've sold out creates a sense of urgency for future offers, compelling potential buyers to act quickly to avoid missing out. Similarly, Limiting the availability window for purchasing your product further prompts swift action from customers. One approach is strategic promotions tied to specific seasons or short periods. Even recurrent discounts can stimulate sales when framed as limited-time offers. For instance, you could host a new moon sale on a monthly basis, lasting for just one day. Exploding Offers Another angle is to present your offer as a time-sensitive opportunity that diminishes in value over time. For example, you could offer discounts on early bookings for a wedding planning service, with prices gradually increasing closer to the event date. Alternatively, offering an investment opportunity with anticipated future growth but lower entry costs incentivizes customers to act before prices rise. Psychological Strategy 2 – Bonuses and Timing Adding bonuses to your offer can significantly enhance its appeal. 
One tactic entails raising the initial price of your product to allow room for including extras presented as free bonuses. For example, offering additional accessories alongside a primary product can make customers feel they're getting exceptional value. The timing of introducing these bonuses also plays a crucial role. Hermosi advises presenting the main offer first, and if the customer agrees to the purchase, introducing a bonus can act as a delightful surprise, adding unexpected value. Alternatively, if the customer hesitates initially, offering a bonus may tip the scales in your favor, encouraging their decision to buy. The strategy of perceived value involves setting an initial price as an anchor point, establishing the customer's perception of worth. Integrating additional items without altering the price amplifies perceived value, as customers view the extras as added benefits without extra cost. This approach effectively enhances the benefit-to-cost ratio, making customers feel they're receiving more for their money. Psychological Strategy 3. Offer Guarantees Implementing guarantees effectively shifts the risk from customers to your business. Guarantees build customer trust, demonstrating your confidence in your product. By assuring customers of a guarantee in case they're unsatisfied, you lower their resistance to making a purchase decision. Guarantees should precisely outline the conditions, time frame, and form of compensation, such as a full refund, partial credit, or extended service period. Hormozy outlines different types of guarantees, including unconditional guarantees, conditional guarantees, and outcome-based guarantees, each serving to bolster the customer's confidence in your offering. Guarantees reflect the concept of having skin in the game, popularized by Nassim Nicholas Taleb. By offering guarantees, you effectively assume personal risk, aligning your interests with those of your customers. This self-imposed risk acts as a powerful motivator to maintain product quality and ensure customer satisfaction, ultimately leading to mutually beneficial outcomes. Psychological Strategy 4. Craft a Catchy Offer Name Choosing an intriguing and attention-grabbing offer name is the final strategy for enhancing your product's psychological appeal. Hormozy identifies five techniques for creating an effective name. Developing an attractive theme, targeting specific customers, appealing to deep desires, defining the time frame, and evoking uniqueness. These elements form what Hormozy terms the magic formula, magnet, avatar, goal, interval, and container word. He advises utilizing three to five of these techniques to create a succinct and memorable name. Creating an attractive theme adds an intriguing dimension to your offer. Special occasions or themed promotions, such as a winter solstice sale, provide a compelling reason for customer engagement. When targeting specific customers, tailor your offer name to resonate with a particular demographic or interest group. Crafting localized names, like marketing lawn chairs to soccer moms of Waterville, adds a personal touch. Additionally, incorporating terms that appeal to deep desires, such as effortless marketing, speaks directly to customers seeking simple solutions for success. Further, clearly defining the time frame associated with your offer, such as Memorial Day Weekend Sale, communicates urgency and sets expectations for customers. Finally, choosing words that evoke uniqueness sets your offering apart, conveying its transformative nature. Consider words like booster, or revolution to highlight its distinctive qualities. Combining these elements results in compelling offer names, such as 10K Club, High Ticket Client Accelerator, Luxury Valentine's Escape for Newlyweds, or 72-Hour Black Friday Cyber Blitz. Tip, tell a story with your product. Choosing an engaging name is a good start, but capturing customers' attention truly comes down to telling a compelling story. Some experts argue that beyond a name, Creating a narrative that resonates with potential buyers is the key to capturing their interest. In All Marketers Are Liars, Seth Godin stresses that storytelling is the cornerstone of effective marketing. Engaging stories resonate with consumers, forging emotional connections that influence purchasing decisions across various fields, from product marketing to politics and job hunting. Storytelling taps into human emotions and beliefs shaping perceptions and decisions based on emotional connections made with your product, company, and even you. For example, Tesla succeeded in its early days by weaving narratives about transforming the auto industry through innovative technology that could save the environment. This story of innovation held the promise of replacing traditional gasoline-powered vehicles with electric ones, 
establishing a strong emotional connection with customers who share these values.